Oh, hey, hi. I'm Chris, and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just using atmospheric pressure to enjoy this beverage and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, what would happen if there was no atmospheric pressure? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a water bottle, some clay, and a straw. Today, I am going to show you how to stop your friends from taking sips from your favorite drink. So, the first thing you're going to need is your favorite drink. <laughs> Next, you are going to get yourself some clay. I find taking clay from kids is about as easy as taking candy from a baby. <laughs> How many times have we used that drum roll cutaway? I bet it's less times than Sean Bean's died in his movies. You're going to Google it. Oh yeah! Next, you are going to get yourself a straw. If you can't find a straw or you don't know where you're from, uh, bra, uh, da, bra, uh, bra, I got ba da ga da ga da Somewhere there is an alien race that just understood what I said. <laughs> and finally, you are going to get yourself a straw. If you can't find a straw, just wait till a friend of yours comes back from fast food and be like, What else, man? And then take the straw from him. I did. <laughs> he faked me back. <laughs> okay, wrap a piece of clay around your straw and then put this in the mouth of your bottle. Okay, before we go any further here, listen, because I know some of you can be like, hey, I tried this, it didn't work. Fail! Thing is, you gotta make sure that this is super airtight, okay? You gotta make sure there are no air leaks whatsoever, or it's not gonna work, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's so wicked cool! Uh, okay, so, so why doesn't the water come out of the straw? And what does this have to do with what life would be like with no atmospheric pressure? Well... Don't look at me! Take a closer look at this. When you suck air out of a straw, you create a vacuum. The higher atmospheric pressure on the liquid pushes down, forcing the liquid up into the straw and into your mouth. When you place the clay over the mouth of the bottle, the atmosphere can't push down on the liquid, and the liquid won't be squeezed into the straw. There are a lot of misconceptions of what would happen to your body in a complete vacuum. First off, you might think that your body would explode, but in reality, you wouldn't explode. Your body is built to hold itself together because it's an airtight container. You might think that your blood would boil, but this wouldn't happen either. Although the spit on your mouth would start to boil because it's exposed to zero atmospheric pressure. Some people say that without atmospheric pressure, you would instantly die. However, this wouldn't happen. You would most likely pass out due to lack of oxygen getting to your brain. In a complete vacuum, your skin would swell, your eardrums would hurt, the capillaries in your eyes would burst, air would be sucked out of your lungs, gases in your blood would come out of liquid that they're dissolved in, and if you were to fart, a complete vacuum would pull all the gases out of your lower intestine. Holding your breath would be a bad idea, as this would actually rupture your lungs. So now you know what life would be like without atmospheric pressure. You know, making sure that no one takes a drink of your drink is why science is so cool.